Hello everyone. I want to talk about value engineering projects. How often have we been involved in designs where we do display cooking or food court applications along with back of the house, large kitchen designs. Everything comes in budget even in our kitchen design itself. But the project overall is over budget. And the architect and or general contractor are now looking for savings and our dealers or suppliers are coming in saying that they've been asked to value engineer the job. That's a word none of us like to hear. But at the same time, it is a word, value engineering, that we can handle. You could have a custom hood designed for the front of the house for display cooking. We could even set up that custom hood that we have lighting in that built into it. And the lighting system may be set up for the display cooking. We may have signage built into the hood. We may have custom stainless going on the hood. We've designed the hood for low air flows. You've designed the hood so that you have self-cleaning options all built in. The engineer has laid out all the duct connections, all the balancing for the hood. We may even have set up into the hood as demand control ventilation or variable air volume ventilation designed for energy savings on the project. If you're now asked to value engineer, everybody starts looking at substitutions or how are we going to change the job. Imagine if you had the hood design completed, but now we can come in on a $1,400 a foot hood and system and take it down to $400 a foot and do it simply without changing ductwork, without changing duct connections, fans, static pressures, without changing any of the energy savings that you designed for the hood system, without changing any of the overall hood designs. We can still keep custom lighting, still keep the shapes and that that we want for display cooking. All we're going to do is get rid of the ultraviolet, get rid of the mesh filters, and possibly go to cartridge hoods only. That in itself is going from $1,400 a lineal foot down to $600 a lineal foot. That's over a 50% savings. Okay, we're cutting the price in half, but we're keeping the same hoods. If we had to go further on value engineering, you're now going from a high-end cartridge hood system and you've got to take the project all the way down, or substitutions are trying to come in, all the way down to baffle filters. And the end user is looking at the savings very seriously. Well, you can do it with the same hood design. We get rid of the cartridge, we get rid of the ultraviolet, we go to a simple baffle filter. Now we're going down to $400 a linear foot. To put this into perspective, say we have four 10-foot hood systems going in. We were $14,000 a hood with ultraviolet, we're only $4,000 a hood with filter or $600 a foot, 6000 if we went to cartridge only. If by chance the project was saying we may want to upgrade later on to ultraviolet, you don't have to change a thing. We can leave the cartridge in the design. We can put in all the brackets, all the openings for future ultraviolet. And everything is ULC listed for that, and UL listed. The other thing is, the hood shape can stay the same. We can go to 24 inches high on all models. Nothing changes. You've picked the hood body, you've picked the design, you've picked the CFMs that we want for energy savings. We may have even picked the control system. Now it's just a matter of, when it comes to value engineering, what type of grease removal do we need into the hood system? $4,000 for a 10-foot hood or $14,000 for a 10-foot hood? Thank you.